Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we welcome back Jano Hoffman, who is the Vice President of Sales for Redware. So Redware is an IT security company with locations all over the world and headquartered in Tel Aviv, Israel. So um, welcome back to the jam, Jano. Uh, thank you very much. Happy to be here. Uh, yeah. So um, to start off, cloud security is a pretty hot topic these days. What's the main challenges you see in the cloud security space and why is it such a big deal um, in 2021? So COVID-19 has accelerated and emphasized the importance of the digital transformation that many organizations uh, have been making. We see more and more applications that morphed from the traditional data center into different clouds like public cloud, private cloud. And by the way, even various combinations of uh, private and public cloud, which we call the multi-cloud. The benefits, I think, are pretty uh, clear. Faster rollout of services due to the speed and agility. Um, CapEx free that can help to cut costs, disaster recovery, automatic updates, and so on. Yet, it doesn't come without challenges, right? And I think first and foremost, applications are scattered across multiple environments each with its own uh, interface, set of tools and delivery methods. And this affects many personas within the organization as they need to master new solutions with new variants per cloud environment to deliver a consistent uh, service. Uh, also, threat landscape is getting broader as applications are now distributed across multiple environments, more challenging to, to protect. And last but not least, the total cost of ownership is also increasing as it requires more and more expertise and attention. Mm, yeah. And um, people perceive, obviously, that cloud uh, security and on-premise security are very different, and they are very different. But um, could you explain what, what are the differences? Why is it so different? So th this is indeed a great question because ma many people are asking me sometimes, is the cloud less secure than the on-prem? And I say it's different. And I usually say moving to the cloud make, make uh, you outsider to your own resources. And why? In the on-prem world, everything is near you. The administrators, the, the developers, the DevOps, and so on are located near their computing and networking resources they can literally can walk over to take actions if needed to protect themselves against insider threats, against external threats to the perimeter. And in worst case scenario, in a disaster of a, in a data breach, they can walk over to the servers and pull the plug to contain the problem, right? It's relatively easy. On the other end, in the public cloud, workloads are hosted outside of the organization not at the same network, not at the same location. And if someone steal their credential, you can lose the access. And then you become an outsider to your own network and data. So when your inside is out, the outside is in and the, the whole world become your insider threat. And that's right. the difference. Right. Um, and what are the key vulnerabilities that cloud apps need to protect against? these days? Um, so I mentioned earlier that applications are moving to the cloud mainly due to speed and agility. So IT professionals grant extensive permissions to support the speed of the business as they don't want to block it. However, many users never use most of their uh, permissions. And these excessive permissions at the end exploited by hackers if they are compromised their credentials. So we see that excessive permission is the number one threat uh, in the cloud. On the other end, visibility and control is also a vulnerability since how do you protect what you cannot uh, see, right? So in addition, also the cloud is fast moving and we are still learning and it's very easy to make a mistake. The most common one is misconfiguration that can result in exposure of the outside world. Thus, it requires the right tools to identify the phenomena along with strict governance and compliance. I think also due to the nature of the, the work in the cloud, application security attacks can be much more severe and require more attention and right handling. 
we already saw some significant data breaches to global leading financial organizations through SSRF uh, uh, attacks. Or we see that APIs are fast new growing vertical for cyber attackers due to their weak uh, security, self-document uh, information that allows attackers to, to exploit. So I think these are the, the new vulnerabilities, may, may, maybe the main vulnerabilities today that you need to protect against. Right. And um, how does Redware specifically approach these vulnerabilities and this challenge? So in Radware, we protect both sides, meaning the application surface that is public facing to the clients with solutions such as Cloud WAF and, and soft cloud soft, uh, and WAF software and Kubernetes WAF, whatever required to integrate into the in architecture of the organization, but also both API protection, anti-DDoS. Anti but this is only half of uh, the solution, as in the cloud, you need to protect your backend, now the remote access. And here we introduce a solution that is called cloud native protection against the misconfiguration, against excessive permission and cloud uh, uh, attacks. And that's how we approach this challenge. Right, yeah. And I get, there's lots of um, cloud security solutions and companies out there. So what makes Redware's solution unique? So I think in a nutshell, um, we are the only vendor that provides a 360 degree comprehensive cloud application protection. And we do it in a single vendor, single technology stack and unified approach with best of breed solution. That's our uh, value proposition. That's our uh, differentiation and uniqueness in, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And finally, what would you recommend to organizations needing uh, some specific cloud uh, security um, that you could help with? I think organization needs to realize that the issue of cloud security is different and separate issue from anything they, haven't, uh, they have known so far. This means they need to have the right tools and the right partners to help them to make sure they are not on the first page of the next security breach. And we are here as hardware uh, uh, to help them. That's my advice. And definitely it's much turf than, than that. And we'll be happy to, and we are sitting with our uh, uh, customers to help them design and protect uh, against malicious um, actors. Perfect. Cool. Well, thank you so much, uh, Yanev. Uh, that concludes uh, today's Tiananmen IT Jam with Redware Vice President of Sales, Yanev Hoffman. Thanks for joining me once again today, Yanev. Thank you very much. It was very much of fun.